In this video, we're going to cover how to make the most of your day. If you want to stop running from fire to fire, then this video is for you. We're going to share with you in this video the four things that you can do to really kick it off right. The key things that you really need to feel satisfied before you finish your day and the things you can't forget because if you do, you'll end up right back in that rat race. So let's go. So one of the first things that I want to suggest when you're setting up your day is to start it off right. There's quite a bit of research that goes into this and so let me give you four key things that you can do to really set your day off right. But first I do want to say looking at your phone, which has been a habit of mine for a long, long time, looking at your phone is not the thing that will take care of you the best in your morning routine. The first thing that we recommend you start with is to spend five minutes in the sunlight, if you have it, obviously. <laughs> spend five minutes in the sunlight so you get up, automatically uh, start with some kind of a grateful thought, stand up, go to the window, go outside, wherever you want. It'll get your day started off right for the things that you need biochemically. Second is breathe deeply. Now in the description below, we're going to link you to a graphic that's going to help you with a routine that you can reference and use every morning. But whether you use a box breathing method where you go five, 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 and five, or you use some of the other breathing methods that we're going to offer you, or you just simply inhale very deeply, at least get 10 to 25 really good breaths in the morning, that's going to get those lungs working, it's going to get you more alert, and it's really gonna help start off your day. Number three, and this one I thought was a little bit silly, but I'll tell you, uh, it's pretty fantastic. When I first started doing it, I noticed a difference immediately. Go to the mirror and look at yourself and say, I love you. Now, you can do that once, you can do it 10 times, but saying that to yourself in the morning is going to wire you into a mindset where you can really win the day and have some self-gratitude and be comfortable in your own skin. And number four, start doing things that challenge yourself. I once heard an expert say, if you typically br brush your teeth with your right hand, start brushing your teeth with your left hand, right? Switch up those routines a little bit. Every day, find something that will challenge yourself and and really pique your intellect so that you don't stay in those same routines. Basically break your cycle and make sure that you're out, aware, connected, balanced, and that you're challenging yourself to do something new every morning. And so before we leave that topic, I'm gonna go over here to the flip chart and draw exactly what that would look like. Okay, so in other videos, I've talked about the way to set up your day. So I'm gonna draw that briefly for you now so that I can set up the discussion that we're gonna have in the latter part of this video. Every professional will hopefully have a to-do list. And this to-do list gets everything out of your head and onto paper, something that you can use to remember key things that you wanna get done. Also, I hope every professional has what's called leader standard work. These are the things that you want to do day in and day out throughout your week. These are key things that will take care of you, your family, and your leader standard work, meaning your leadership role at whatever company or whatever business you're in. Now, when you actually plan your day, as you've heard about in other videos that we'll link you to, by the way, we recommend that you live in day tight compartments. That means that you pull in key things from your leader standard work and you time block them. And then the rest of the time, is filled with to-do list items and buffers. So if you remember from before, you can work in these activities in what's called one piece flow, and you always have buffers so that you have time in between to reset, to relax, to take a break, and to complete the items so that you don't leave them for that afternoon. So this is how you time block your day, but you start your day like we just talked about by getting up, getting that sunlight, starting to breathe, having some self-gratitude, and really starting to challenge yourself, right? And I highly recommend, as a part of that, including what's called box breathing. And we will link you in, in the description below to some resources on that. But the key here is, is to center in a manner where you can really go start that day in an effective way. Okay, so really quickly, box breathing, and I'll link you to the other video for more details in case you're worried about that. But box breathing is where you inhale for five seconds, hold it for five seconds, exhale for five seconds, and then hold it. You do that around the box three or five times, anywhere from three to five times. And each time you do that round around the box, you will calm down 
your heart rate will be regulated, you will be able to focus, and you will really be in a good, clear state. That's when I recommend you put your hand over your heart and think about something that you're really grateful for. Then you will go around the box three to five times again. Think about something then with your hand over your heart that you want to do to give to the people around you, your family, yourself, your company, your colleagues, whomever. And then I recommend doing that again, going around the box, doing that box breathing three to five times, right? And then put your hand over your heart and think of something that you're gonna let go of. We are in control of our thoughts, so if you have negative thoughts or grudges or fear or anger or hatred or any kind of negative energy, just imagine that leaving and really get into a state where you can start your day. So at that point, you are neurologically wiring yourself for gratitude, giving, and letting go of any kind of negative energy or negative thoughts. So you're at a point where you can really start your day off right. So in summary, you really wanna wake up right. Follow those four key steps. When you plan your day, use your to-do list, use your leader standard work, and make sure you have buffers. And one really great recommendation, which again is in the description, is to use box breathing to actually start that day. So here are four keys that you can use in that day so that you can feel like you're successful. Number one, put something in there that you can be proud of. Now, you're probably thinking, hey, Jay Money, I'm on this video, make it worth my time. This is worth your time. Here's what happens. We typically bring our to-do list, uh, possibly our leader standard work, but we have the busyness of the day. We plan that all in our day, packed full, right, of things that we have to do. If you plan your day full of things that don't give you energy, you'll go home in a dissatisfied manner. And so here's the key. Really, we want to stop over-programming our day so we feel successful, and we need to program less with buffers, but things that are more impactful and things that give you energy. So I'm recommending as step one, make sure you have something in there that will give you energy, that you will be proud of, that you can say, hey, this is awesome, I completed that thing, so that when you go home, you can feel successful. Step two, things that are urgent and important, things that only you can do, will need to be plugged in and around that key thing that you want to accomplish that day, right? Because not only do we want to feel like we won and that we have done something that has given us energy, but we also want to feel like we're taking care of first things first and that the alligators that are trying to bite you, <laughs> right, in life, the most important things are being covered on a daily basis so it can de-stress you a little bit. So yes, plug in that main thing, that main thing that you can be proud of. Yes, go ahead and plug in things that are urgent and important that you need to do, but you will do it leaving buffers, which is step number three. So I had a really great mentor one time tell me, hey, Jason, you at least need 40% of your day planned as buffers. That means if you have meetings, plan those buffers in between. If you have tasks, plan those buffers in between because not only will you get distracted, not only will things happen, but things sometimes will take longer than you think. And if you have buffers, you can properly absorb them and take breaks, have thinking time, not feel too rushed, and really feel like, again, you can win while you're actually executing your day. So you must have buffers. And number four, I want to encourage you to work in what's called one piece or one process flow, which means that when you're in a task, you're there, you're focused, you very much reduce the distractions, and you're able to accomplish that work in a shorter amount of time because you are more highly focused. And so one thing that I'm focused on is really connecting with you and staying with you in this journey with these videos on this channel. I would love to ask you to like and subscribe to this channel. We love having you here. We have a lot more great content to come. And so at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you five key things that you can remember so that you can really get the most out of your day. Number one, have time where you can work without distraction. Sometimes that means you're gonna to go to your office. You might, if you're working at home, go ahead and shut the door and work from your bedroom on your nicely made bed. You might be in an open office environment where there are production pods, where you need to go focus for a little bit of time and get rid of the distractions. You could go haul your computer with you on a hike and go type out by the sunrise. Please go make sure you have focus time without distraction. Number two, every day 
you need time to think. We can't just use these brilliant things up here to respond, 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 respond. Sometimes we need to use them for problem solving and to create. So having, even if you didn't use all the buffer time, which I'm recommending, having time to actually think is huge. That's when you're gonna have your most creative moments. That's when you're going to head towards 10Xing your business. That's when you're gonna have those genius ideas. So every day, make sure you have time to think. Number three, have time to rest. Remember, I have said before, the US military has found through studies and actually other militaries as well, that when you have soldiers marching for an hour, that they can march at least over 40% farther if they have a 10 minute break every hour. Human beings need breaks. So not only is that true in the military with soldiers, it is also important for us at work to take breaks. So after a really cool task, go get coffee, go get water, go breathe and absorb some sunlight. Do something to have a break. We were not programmed to just grind, 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 grind. Take some breaks. Number four, have time to connect. You've heard me say before that people are happy and engaged when they feel connected, relevant, and like they are able to win every day. So take some time for some human connection to have real conversations and make sure that you're seen and known by other human beings on your team. And number five, make sure you feel like you're winning. If your day plan ever gets to a point where it's overpacked, you don't have buffers, you don't have anything in there that's giving you energy, you're always behind the eight ball, we need to fix it. You must, by the time you're done with that day, really feel like you've accomplished something, even one of these things at the end of the day. So you can go home to your partner, to your family, wherever you're going and say, yes, I won. I feel good. I'm engaged. And so that's the pattern. I hope that you implement that and try it for at least 60 days. I know that sounds like a long time, but for three months, go give that a try and tell me contact me and tell me whether it was better for you on a daily basis. And so I hope you've enjoyed this video and as a free gift in the description below, I'm going to give you a complete outline in the form of a blog post, a complete outline of how you can make the most of your day. I hope you enjoy it. On we go.